Hey everyone, Shaper1000 here, and I've got my special guest star. Monkey! Alright, we got this tool here, as you can tell by the, uh, the title, that we're going to fix some Christmas lights. We're going to try to, so yes. let's open this up and I'll go into more detail about it. So stick around, let's see if we can fix them, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's open this up. This thing come from Washington State, around Seattle area. Came right on time. And these um, scissors need to have something done with them because, as you can see, they don't want to do nothing. I don't know why Monkey won't sharpen them. I let you do that, Joe. They're her scissors. There. So, this Light Keeper Pro. That's a little package. Yeah, it is. They said it oh came my. on time. <laughs> I like this bubble. It's nice and stiff. I'm messing with the bubbles. I don't know. I like the bubbles. Can't pop this one thing. Well packaged. Well, that's fine. Okay, this is what it is here. Now, there's a million and one YouTube videos out there about these things going back many years. I am the million and one video. <laughs> so, there's a lot of guys that, you know, explain it better than probably me, but. That's okay, I just thought I'd go ahead and show it to you anyway. Um, but yeah, this is this is what it is. Um, they had to sell it as used. I got it on eBay. It was like 10 something then shipping and tax. So it was like $17. So if this thing fixes two strands of lights, mm -hmm. that will be saving me three, $3 right there because they're like $10 a stream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but there's what it what it is. Uh, pretty easy to use. I've never used one, but it seems to be pretty self-explanatory. Let's get this out here. And there's everything it does. Ooh. I don't know what that is, but. Instructions fold up nice and neat. Gives you shows you everything on here. Hopefully the batteries will still be good. It just takes some like uh, button cell batteries, like watch batteries. Um, and there's supposed to be extra bulbs right in there. It doesn't have any, but I've got plenty. And the seller did, you know, state that the extra bulbs. We're not there, so. Hmm. This okay, is, so, huh? This is a letter from the president of the company, and it just basically says you use this and you learn how to use it. They have videos out to help you, and once you learn, that it will save you lots of money because you won't have to keep going out to buy new ones because you can't find okay. the broken one. So right, that's what that says. So we have a bulb tester here right there and right here we have a little fuse tester I'll show you there's fuses in each and every one of them little plugs you can test it right there this is a handy dandy ice cold beer opener I, I mean <laughs> now this this um, helps you pop your bulb out out of the socket um, All right, batteries are good. So this will, um, let me see, make sure here. Bulb infused tester. 
Okay, so it shows everything here, but this trigger will help fix uh, lights. The, when, when the lights go bad, okay, there's a, a inside that bulb, there's something called a shunt. It kind of like a little fuse in each one of the bulbs, it's called a shunt. When that burns, it not only just makes the light go out, it makes a whole section of the lights go out. It's like pulling out a bulb. Mm -hmm. To where, like if the bulb burns out but the shunt is fine, then that just, just that one bulb is going to be burned out. Also, this, um, you can test electric with this, run it up your strand and find out if there's no electric, which it's, it's okay, I guess, but you know, you'll know <laughs> when there's a section of lights out from there to there has no power. I mean, you really don't need this, but the other stuff is handy. Um, here is a little compartment that you can put um, different extra bulbs in there that, that are good that you can have. So that's a little Storage. Storage, yeah. Thank you, Monk. <laughs> so it's cute. And uh, I'm not sure. It looks like you plug this in. I'm not sure what this is for. Is Let me for read up end? on that. Let me read up on that and see what you do with this end, because I haven't seen anybody use this section yet. Looks like you plug it in, but mm -hmm. into here. Hmm. But this is where you fix it in or put the socket in to fix that strand and I'll show you how to do that in a minute now now keep in mind guys that if you got a broken wire this is not going to fix it you know I mean you just don't have a little tool to, you go like that and it fixes a broken wire it's impossible it doesn't happen can't happen so keep in mind it's not going to fix everything but like I said if it fixes two strands for me Mm -hmm. You know, I, I've already saved three dollars and I have a couple more than two strands, don't I, Mama? And you save time. <laughs> don't I, Mama? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so let me read and see if it says anything about that, that part of it to see because I haven't seen anyone use that section yet. So, alternate quick fix. Oh, okay. That's a alternate quick fix so you just plug the whole strand in we'll get to that in a minute we're going to get out a set of lights here that monkey has when she took took them down she put them in bags and she put little notes on them yeah it's cute like one says what flashing let me grab one here it says okay so like this one lights around mom's window flash when once <laughs> I guess that means they work when they want to. Yeah. So right. let me get let me get these plugged in, and then I'll show you how to use this thing. Well, if you remember, if you watched our light show, you know that we were having trouble with the lights. They were going sometimes on, sometimes off. Well, we so. had plenty that you know, just somebody driving past wouldn't notice, but yeah. I knew. Yeah. And every time I went out, there was another section that on something else that but the you know some of those lights were like only a year old yeah they were yeah. used once took back out to use again and you know it was just this 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 is going to save a lot of time like i said I if i have a broken wire this is not going to fix it if i got a broken wire i'm just not even going to mess with it they're not worth it no so, no all right i'll be right back with you okay guys so as you can see these are working these are supposed to flash, so don't be alarmed about that. But this section does not, so I'm going to put you down here. Let me grab my gun. Probably be demonetized for saying that. Um, so, like, there should be... Let me turn, turn, turn your screen. Let me turn your guys' screen here so I can see what I'm doing here. See, like... If I hold this button here, there's power. See, so there's power going up through here, right? But we don't have 
in this section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the first light in this section out. Like I said, I've never used one of these. There we go. All right, I'm going to set that down. Now I'm going to put this inside of here just like this now you click the you can go up to some you can go up to 100 I'm not sure what this one says but it's usually about 30 but you click this until they start until they come on so let me sit down here. I may have to speed you up. Let me make sure I got this in right. It could have a bad wire. I don't know. Because these ones are really old. They're several years old. So... Oh no, I'm not counting. <laughs> I think this has got a bad socket. Look like it in there. Let me get a light and look down inside of here, make sure I have that in right. Okay, so I'll show you the bulb we took out. We're going to put it in the bulb tester and it lights up. So we know that bulb's good. So I was reading up on this. You pull this 30 times, up to 30 times to see if it'll fix it. So, and I didn't have this in here right, so that could have something to do with it. Okay, that's 30 times and it didn't do anything. So it says to check if that doesn't work. Um, where did I read that at? Yeah, if lights do not illuminate after 30 pulls, then use the voltage detector and step to it. That's right there. So, you know, that's the... Okay, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to put this bulb back in. Alright, so it looks like... Wherever this stops beeping, should be where it's dead at. So as you can see, we're getting power all the way down through here so far. So that's telling me we don't have any broken wires. But it looks like in here, See that? Mm -hmm. So let's pull let's pull this one out. Well, I think this might be the problem. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see any uh looks like it's Let's check this bulb. Damn it. Let's check this bulb here. 
that bulb's good but right in here this socket looks like it's bad so this is not going to fix it if it's a bad socket you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and you can't fix the sockets? well I could change it but I'm looking down in here and it looks like it's corroded because these are outside lights Mm -hmm. I see a lot of green stuff in there and I'm thinking that's probably the cause of the problem mm -hmm. see I'm getting it there not there not there not there but I'm getting it down here So, so that's probably going to be the problem is that bad socket. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it's all corroded in there. Yeah, see? Right there, it's all corroded. Mm hmm We don't have any alcohol, do we? Yeah. Do we? alcohol? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Hold on. You sure? I'll look in the bathroom. Yeah, see how green that is? I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but yeah. It's pretty green. So, I'm going to clean this up. See, that's not going to make a contact through that bulb, no matter what, and it just pulled out. So if it's not going to make contact, it's not going to work right. So let me see if I can get this cleaned up. That kind of pulled up out of there pretty easy. At least, you know, it saved the guesswork and I found a problem even if I can't get this cleaned up and repaired. So, let me see if I can clean this up and I'll be back with you guys. One recording. No, you Okay, guys, so let me tell you what happened. I found a bad bulb. It's Actually, which one was it? it? was this one, wasn't it? Yeah. See that wire? That little wire sticking out there is not one on the other side. So, I used my handy dandy little tool here. This was going in, going in, but not coming out. So, I got me a bulb here. Monk, well, Monkey got me a bulb. And here, let me get pull them out just a little bit like that. And I'm gonna stick this down in here. There you go. There we go. Wow. All right. Awesome. Mhm. Mm this is a bad bulb. It's just a burnout bulb. Not worried about them right now. You're just worried about making sure it's not the A bulb here and there. I mean, because you know I can see when a bulb's out. That bulb's out. Um, There's quite a few of them out. Yeah, but I'm not real worried, concerned about that. I just dropped that bulb. Where'd it go? I don't know. I can give you another one. Well, I need to know where this is so we don't step on it and it breaks. It's underneath you. I see it. It's where your leg is. This way. There you go. Alright. So that's not even the right thing, but alright, so let's check this bulb here with this thing. I always like to pull them out a little bit. And the bulb is no good. So that's okay. So with that tool, we have already fixed one strand of lights. 
like I said, I'm not worried about, you know, a bulb here and there being out. I can change those at any time. And usually these are flashing, so you really can't tell anyhow. So, but anyway, there's one set fixed. Let's fix one more set, okay? Let me get ready. Okay, so this one, also that other strand did have, I forgot to tell you, it did, did um, that one socket did have some corrosion, but I don't think that was a problem because when I cleaned it, nothing still happened. This one says bathroom window. Flash when once. So we have another one of them. She's up there right now just um, changing that label so I don't go. Well, I need to check these and then have them work. You know what I mean? So, all right. Now, let's get these out. So what what this does is in certain situations like you might not be able to get the socket inside inside there so you can actually plug this in and squeeze the trigger and technically it'll be fine <laughs> but like I said if you got a broken wire it's not this one's not gonna work and I'll tell you why right now <laughs> Monkey goes, she's got like 3,700 ball pile up there mm -hmm. at the ready. Right. Give me your outlet. Yeah, I'm working on it. Okay, so she's going to plug me in here. And let's see which ones don't work. Okay, I got two sections in here. Only one section's work in the middle section. So let's start... Let's just start on this end. So you can take out any ball in the section that's not working. Put this in here. Make sure I got that right. And let's start clicky clacking our little trigger here. What's going on here? I don't think it's going all the way down in there. Now it is. But technically they should be lit up right now. That's 30. Well, let's check this bulb. This bulb is not working. No. Nope. So, let's just check our power again, so we can find out where we're losing power at. So far we're getting power all the way down through here. Flasher? Well, this flasher's no good. It's not lighting up. Got a bulb, Mama? Yep. Oh, she's out there ready. Is that your stomach? No. What was it? Yours. It wasn't mine. That's so why I asked. Maybe it was your mom again. Brap. <laughs> I didn't tell her what you did. <laughs> no, you should. <laughs> Are these supposed to be good bulbs or? Yeah, I gave them to you. The other ones worked. I can Okay, the other ones worked, so that means all of them have to work. Well, I got some in a bag. All right, so this this bulb works. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So I got some in a bag if you want. I'll just open them up. Oh, there we, there go. we go. So we found out it was a flasher. Hmm. So. 
I saved these things. So the flasher's bad. So there's in that one. So there's that part of it. Now Alright, let's see what's going on with this one. It says you can take any one out in a section that's not working and do this to it, but for some reason, I don't know, maybe these bulbs, maybe this is an old set and it don't have shunts, I don't know. Maybe I'm not putting this in here right. Oh, there it is. It worked. It worked. Cool. That was really cool. There it is. Wow. That really worked. Yeah. Yeah. What's that going on down there? There's a bulb missing. Okay, all right. And there's but, a broken one. Okay, all right, don't touch them. The broken one. Okay, don't touch them because I need to. Ooh. Okay, so that worked. Wow. All right, so now the nice. problem is we have two broken bulbs here. Uh, you want to unplug it for me, please? Yeah. So what that did was fix the shunt. There's a broken one here, a broken one here, and a broken one there. Yeah. So let's replace these. So it worked. Yeah. They're unplugged now, so I'm going to use these plastic pieces. Are you? Yeah. Do we have any bulbs in there without the plastic pieces? <laughs> so it worked. Yeah. So one of the burnout ones, or maybe even one of these, the shunt, it fixed the shunt. That's cool. Shunt. Sh not shut. Shunt. Shunt. S-H-U-N-T. Shunt. Shunt. That's really cool. Alright. And then I'll show you how to check the fuse. As soon as we plug these back in, I'll take a fuse out. All right, then I think that's it. Yeah. All right, now let's plug them in again. Thank you, monkey. Yeah. Make sure they all work. Wait. What happened? I don't know. Something happened. I'll bet you one of the bulbs I just put in is not right. And I don't know which one they are. Shoot. Let's try this again. I'll bet you that's, that's what I did. I put in a bulb that didn't work or something, or it's not making contact. That's what I've done. Okay. I'm going to run my meter down through. Wait a minute. Which one? Because it wasn't all the way down. I'll put it, make sure you got it right, put it in. Or bring it here. <laughs> She's plugged in, she goes. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't all the way down. Wasn't all the way down? No. You sure? Mm hmm. Alright, that might be it. Let's, Let's see. see. No. Oh man, it's one of those bulbs. I'm sure of it. See that? Yeah. Oh, that's a fly. That, that's that's got a flasher in it. I think I've got, I think one of those bulbs I put in is no good. 
So what I'm going to do is go see if I can find out which ones they were. I know they were red and one was orange. The first one I gave you was They were orange. broke. And the one, the other ones were red. They were broke. Yeah, they were broke. Yeah, I'll bet you that's what I've done. I'll put in a bad bulb. Mm hmm? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Or one of them just... I didn't get the thing to make contact right. I'll bet you that's what it is. I gotta... I, I, guess, I gotta find out which ones... Uh, I changed. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back with you guys. Okay, so there was the issue. It was the wrong plastic end on it. Yeah. That's okay. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Now in here. See where it says open? We're going to slide this open. I'm going to pull a fuse out first. I want to make sure... That's a cigarette pack. <laughs> it was in the box. Okay, there's two fuses here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these out and blow it. And show you how to test it with that little tool. Okay, so if you think you've got a fuse issue, see that says open. You slide that. Where'd you go? It took off on me. You slide this open. So I'm just going to use... Use a little screwdriver or whatever you got handy. I'm just going to use these scissors. See that will slide out like like that, okay. and inside there, see the two little fuses. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take one of these out. And I'm going to intentionally, intentionally blow it, okay? But we're going to check it first. And then I'm going to hook it up to a battery and blow the fuse. And then we'll check it again. There we go. I'm not quite in pain. Oh, well, anyway, I took it out of there, so... All right, now in the fuse hole or the fuse tester right here, as soon as it focuses, right there's a fuse tester. Let's put this in here. See, lights that light. That fuse is good. All right. Now let's get a battery and let's blow this fuse on purpose and check it. Now how are you gonna blow it? With a battery. Oh. I want to blow stuff up. That's what I do best. Okay, so we're going to take this good fuse and we're going to pop it and show you that when we put it in there again, it's not going to light up like that. Okay, so let me get a battery. Okay, so this is a three amp fuse max, three a max. It'll tell you right there. Right there's where it'll tell you. Okay, so we're gonna take this fuse. Let me back out a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on one end of the battery. It's just a like a where are you going, monk? Monkey's getting the hell out of here. This is just like a bread tie thing. Is it gonna wanna, blow up? Yes. Oh, Jesus, I'm leaving. No, sit right there. Look, I'm doing it, so it can't Hi. be that bad. Well. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put one end on one end of the fuse, one end on there, and it should blow, and it's not. So I don't know if this battery's no good or if I need a stronger battery. Do you know if this battery's any good, Monk? Nope. Okay, well, let's try another battery. I got more. Well, first, let's check and see if it's nope it didn't blow up all right she's going to get another battery <laughs> so stand by all right let's try this again 
Maybe I need a stronger battery. Yeah, maybe. Alright, let's try this. Wow. Let me get a stronger battery. I don't know if those are any good. Okay, like Monkey said, we're getting serious. Alright. Now, <laughs> I'm going. This is getting scarier. Alright. And two 12 volt batteries hooked up and parallel. Yeah. Still only 12 volt, it's just very strong. 12 volt. Where'd my. <laughs> Alright. Now, hopefully. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this on here. Wish you guys would be able to see this. Does it pop? What does it do? Does it burn up? That's pretty scary and when the fuse ain't gonna blow. What does that mean? Come on, I know this has got power. Oh, I heard that. Yeah, there it did. It just blew. Oh, so all you did is spiked it and it just blew. And did you hear it? Yeah, I heard it. Now, yeah. let's check this fuse. No good. Yeah. See? So. You fried it. I fried it. So that fuse is no good. Okay. Okay, so that's how you can test your fuse. Now you're not going to have to be by any means blowing this fuse. This is just, I, I, I thought it was a little anticlimactic. I thought it would blow like pop, mm -hmm. but it didn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, it's all right. Sizzled. All right, and of course you'll check both of them, but we already know this is good because this is a set of lights we were working on. But first, I have had these no good out of the pack. They weren't blown because they weren't used. They just weren't put together right. There it is. So that's a good fuse. So we'll put this back down in here. There's no up or down or left or right. You just put it in there. When it goes in, it goes in. All right. So there's no wrong way to put the fuse there's no plus or minus or anything like that. It's just, if you have tweezers, it's probably, probably boot, be a little easier for you. Got these big old meat hands here. Let me drop it in. Well, you don't just drop it in. It's got to go in to those little things. There we go. I just push it in there. Make sure you don't push on the glass. Oh. There we go. Now these should work. Let me get it plugged in here. There we go. So, That's yeah, that cool. works. That works well. Yeah, it helped a lot. I mean, it still took a little time, but it, it's a lot easier. Heck, than trying to try to figure it out on your own. That is a lot easier. Oh yeah, it's still a lot. Well, easier. I found you know bad bulbs that was causing the, the lights not to work, and right. this little thing did work. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. The only reason why it didn't work after. I put that ball in was because I had the wrong plastic end on it. Yeah. yeah. So it was either pushing out the the contacts inside there mm -hmm. to where the wires from the light couldn't f fit, or just probably it just wasn't letting it go down in far enough to make contact with them. But it did fix that. Mm -hmm. We found the problem. Yeah. And we found a problem in the other one. Yeah. So, so that's two strands of lights that we should be fine with. But see, like before, you know, I mean, to me, that just, that, that saved a lot. I mean, I got $17 in this. It was actually $10. Mm -hmm. And so it come out to like with shipping because it came from Washington State with shipping and, and tax on eBay. So it was like 16 something. So let's just say $17. Right. 
just saved me 20 bucks. So, mm -hmm. let's say 17 to pay for this. I just saved three dollars first time using it. Yeah. And I have a lot more to do. To do. Because we and this have is going a lot to help. that so, went out. <laughs> you know, this seventeen dollars or yeah, this seventeen dollar item here is going to save me a lot of money because every year I got to buy. Not a string a or two lights and sometimes you know, we just don't have the money and it's like I just got to deal with you know part of them not working so I got to use them somewhere else where maybe I don't need that section or something you know right, right. so now I'm, you know I got to replan everything I'm, I'm going to put out this sure is going to be cool isn't it yeah what yeah you're I'm not excited cool. yeah we got something happening on the roof this year yeah don't we mm-hmm yeah. Yeah. School and another little surprise, um, but yeah, it should should be alright. So this thing is is a godsend, you know. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Wonder if it'll pick this up. Oh no, that's DC, not AC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was another thing. Yeah, I was using. Well, that shouldn't matter. It's just a fuse. Okay, but there you go. I mean, and like I said, if if you can't fit your socket down inside here, you just unplug your uh, unplug it from from the from the power, plug it in here, plug it back in, and see if it worked. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is cool. So you know, you got nice your, little gadget. You got your little light puller there and your light tester your fuse tester a little place to put which i should do right now let's put some of them bulbs in here mm -hmm. that's it well you open that bag so i was giving you that one but the other bag's not open and i'll put some fuses in here This is weird because every year I gotta replace I gotta replace a fuse. Well, almost every year I gotta replace a fuse, and that's weird because they're working when I unplug them and take them now. And I gotta plug them back in. The fuse is, is bad. But, so we're gonna put some of these bulbs in here and some extra fuses over in here in this one. So we got three extra fuses, we got some extra bulbs here. Oh, and we have those plastic things. All of them? Yeah, and I'll put those in here just in case. That way, so we've got, we've got plenty. Uh, we, we've got a lot more um, lights, replaceable bulbs, or bulbs to replace stuff with, don't we, hun? Yeah, I got them all over, we, Yeah, so we never, never throw them away, so. No. There we go. All right. If I unpack the lights and stuff, I'll find them. Yeah. All. But. Yeah. Like um, strings of lights, when they actually, I would have to throw them away because I didn't have this thing to fix it. And then so I would just like pull out eight or ten bulbs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know that that out of the working section. Um, like like a couple of them that go around the mailbox, like. A couple of these strands that I wanted to put somewhere, I couldn't because of that reason. So I just used it for for an extension cord. Mm -hmm. So I would plug it in because it still had power to the end. It's just the lights wouldn't work. So I would use it as an extension cord. All right. But so um, I would take, you know, before I throw them away, I'd take eight or ten bulbs out and, and have them. So there we go. That gets a two thumbs up for me. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I think we should have got that a long time ago. Should have got it last year. <coughs> the year was about over, but still it would have saved. Because by the end of the year, my lights were... If you just drove past for the first time, you wouldn't have noticed anything really. But for people walking past or people that go past every day, they would notice. And he's got some lights missing, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't like that. So, no. 
next we, year. Huh? We, we actually have people stop and watch them. Yeah, they'll stop mm -hmm. and watch them. Yeah. This year, they're, it'll be better for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm putting on a light show. Next year, I'm going to do some LEDs and put on a real nice light show um, to music. But i got to get LEDs in order to do that. Yes. And they're expensive. Yes. And um, I'll also have to get a, um, a light controller, you know, so... And then I'll have to get software to program what I want my lights to do. And, you know, because you just don't plug them in. It don't know what you want them to link and when. And, but that's next year. But this year, it's still going to be a lot better, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to be badass, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's going to be cool. So, you know, you guys... They were awesome last year. You guys out west will have to drive past and check it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, Shaver. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Monk... Like fish out, bye y'all. <laughs> Brat. <laughs> I didn't do that. And no, that was your mom. But she was like, turn. What the hell? Her mom goes, I just farted. <laughs> <laughs> that camera went there, picked it up from clear over there. Go watch it. If you haven't seen yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, I watched the last video. It was pretty funny. Okay, guys. Shay Bird met the man of legend. Gone for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, um, if you hang up a lot of lights, even if you just hang up lights on Christmas tree, eventually you're going to have some go out. Get one of these, man. Perfect. Uh, it's just called the Fast and Easy. Fixes light sets. It's called the Light Keeper Pro. Highly recommend it. Two thumbs up. So it's kind of like a review. So, awesome. Real easy to use. And it's been out a while, too. We just... Oh, yeah. It was, we was walking guys doing it seven and eight years ago. Yeah. But they were just called the Light Keeper. It didn't have as many functions. No. Like it didn't have the... I don't think it had the light puller. And I don't think it had the tester. I like the light puller because you start trying to get those things out sometimes. Yeah, some of them, like, like I just showed you, I could pull out. Yeah. You know, because I got a strong grip. Some of them grip. get really hard. Some of them get really hard. So this this does help out a lot. Yeah. It's got different. Um, and testing your light bulb too. That's great. Yeah. Because yeah, that's good. You know, you don't know if it's bad or not. Well, You're the one, the one I found. Um, what was it? Was that Flasher? Mm -hmm. Or yeah. was it? Anyway, I found one bulb. It just wasn't no good. Yeah. And I put yeah. it in there and. And or changed the bulb and it was fine, yeah. so there was an issue with that. So I'm quite happy. But with I found the I found the problem with this because yeah. it told me exactly where, mm -hmm. you know, which bulb. Like you know, this one had power, and this one didn't. You yeah. Know? yeah. So when I checked the one that had power, it had power going in, but nothing coming out. So yeah. I knew that was the bulb. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I mean, that's that's awesome. Yep. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next one, huh? Yep. Bye, y'all. Shea Brother, Mr. Man, the legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Take care.